Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and the horror brawl went live in Hearthstone today And as you can see I unlocked the new portrait can give you guys an idea if it's worth your Possibly 1000 gold if not more to enter as well as a bug that's going around that may have affected you Has affected players that have outright been scammed out of their portrait We have a small confirmation from Blizzard about it and we'll go into detail about it Also, there's an update to the Hearthstone esports program It's a little bit better than what we went over before I'll give you an update on that as well as a full preview there's two other portraits in the shop i believe lunar ones that we will also showcase in case you guys are interested in purchasing them or if you just want to see what they look like because they are pretty darn nice you know what would be really nice if you guys feel like i've earned your subscription you want to help out the channel hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel we're almost 200 subscribers away from 63,000. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. So yes, I uh, I went seven and three, by the way. I just played my Frosty K that I believe I put in my deck recommendation video a few days ago. Saw a lot of posts of players doing well, players doing poorly. But overall, again, I don't recommend entering this unless you just don't mind losing a lot of gold because even at seven wins i believe my reward was like 250 gold and dust in like nine packs like it's just the rewards aren't really that good unless you hit 12 so i still cannot recommend it but maybe you value this portrait very much uh what you might not value is the current bug that came alongside with it well first there's the game bug of apparently it doesn't work with baku we saw this with the demon hunter portrait not the, the double headed uh dog portrait also got bugged that it doesn't work with Baku so be aware of that if you do have the portrait don't play an odd deck in wild although I don't think I've ever tried to play an odd deck with Death Knight yet but uh Ulticon Ulticon you might actually be familiar with him he's on YouTube post really good cool combo videos check him out if you haven't already um he put I feel scammed I feel scammed and what does he mean by that well he hit three wins he got three wins which is the requirement to unlock the portrait and got nothing and what happened was after he was done it popped up in the shot or in his quest log that he can uh you know he needs to win the three games i saw this happen to judge who's an arena streamer and i also had someone respond to me here i did the heroic brawl as soon as it was available reached seven wins then afterwards the quest showed up to unlock the portrait so i didn't get it I am pissed off. So yeah, that's really bad. That's a really expensive portrait. That's a thousand gold, which in like money world is kind of like 10 bucks or so. And you know, you, you went through the pressure of unlocking it. And I do know, I saw some people post that they entered it again to unlock it. And like, maybe they'd whiff on their second try, but regardless, they shouldn't have to do that. So I uh, I tagged the, uh, basically one of the guys that's very, the social guy, HS Deck Tech, he handles a lot of the bug stuff. Seems to be an issue I'm hearing about from multiple sources. Uh, I tweet this out like 6 p.m. I woke up very late, very late, started the stream very late. And he said, I got one report earlier today. He actually responded to Ulticon, so I'm guessing it was that one. Uh, the, the team has been investigating. It's after hours now, so maybe tomorrow with an update. So they they are aware of it if this happened to you um hopefully what they will do is like refund or give you a thousand gold but i don't know what they're gonna do it's really kind of messy because it is such an expensive thing and you just hope that you know they would test it out but basically what looks like happened if the brawl opened up while you were in the client and you went and just went right into the brawl if you didn't check your quest log or refresh it it didn't pop up in the quest log meaning you played through and it never updated the quest log and you didn't get it so I think that's what happened. I don't think it's going to happen to anybody else, but if it did happen to you, be aware they are looking into it. They're investigating and they're really good at making these things right. I'm not concerned about them making it right. It's just messy, but I want you guys to be aware of it if that did happen because it's a really, a really bad look considering, you know, there's a lot of controversy around all of this. So that is rather unfortunate. And again, um, I did mention free stuff. It's not much. It is a thing, but if you are planning on logging into Hearthstone this week, I highly recommend it. They have the Call of the Brawl quest. It's for one standard pack. It's all it is, but you literally just have to play a game. Any mode, anywhere, you got one week to complete it. So just log into Hearthstone if you weren't planning at some point and just get that free pack. You can save it for the next expansion to contain standard cards and you can save it if you want, right? I save my standard pack since I have all the cards, but again, it's free, get it while you can. And it was really nice of them to put that in when we have a Heroic Brawl, which normally took that free pack away 
and they made it so you didn't even have to win. And typically you have to win the tavern brawl. So it's like an upside on the upside. So thumbs up on that, big thumbs up. Uh, yeah, and there's also an update to the Hearthstone Esports program. We covered that in a video a while ago. They cut the prize pool. There's only gonna be money paid out for Worlds, not even the three Masters Tours. However, that's been changed. The prize pool remains the same, half a million dollars. However, they diverted 150,000, so $50,000 each to each three Master Tour Championships. They didn't say how it'll be distributed. I think there's only 16 or eight players at each event, but they will get paid now. So if you're one of those players that was thinking about, you know, tr still trying to compete for a Master's Tour, I'm sure there's not a lot of you, but maybe there are. Uh, maybe you want to try. The, the only thing that sucks is they announced this the day after the January season ended, which does count for the first Master's Tour. And a lot of people just like, well, there's no money in it. I, I can't commit that time. And now there is. So some people are kind of pissed off about that. I understand it, but it's better than nothing. And I'm sure they're trying their hardest to make things work with a very limited pool. And I imagine very limited resources. And lastly, we'll go over all the three new portraits in the game first. I won't keep you guys waiting on it. Ghoul Queen Scarlet. If you really want it for maybe a thousand gold going the brawl, getting the three wins, you might have to do it again if you don't get three wins and then you're out a lot of resources. Please be aware of that. But if you want to do it, it's up to you. Ghoul Queen Scarlet, well, her animations and emotes look like this. Scarlet versus the Lich King. All will serve me in death. The unholy fester. Oh, hello. You will never wither. My thanks. Unbelievable. The Lich King mocks our suffering. Face my plague of scarlet rot. Blast! I will say personally, not a really big fan of it. There's no entrance animation, no tray, nothing really that special. I'm probably gonna be sticking to my 1000 win portrait or the legendary one. So for me, I don't feel like it's worth a premium cost of trying to win that brawl. So that's my opinion, but maybe you'll love it and go for it. Hopefully you can unlock it and have some success. Get that 12 wins, get a ton of packs. Uh, it might happen, point. 5% of the time, maybe? I think that was the odds. And then in the shop, we have two new portraits that popped up yesterday. Champion Tarande Bundle. You get Tarande, you get five packs. It's a thousand runestones, 10 bucks USD, 1250 Canadian. Her remotes and animations and all that look like this. Tarande versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Elune guides me. Sweet dreams. A blessed play. I thank you. Astonishing. A bad dream. May you find peace. Job's done. It is finished. You win. I love the look of this portrait. I just wish it had like a, you know, a better animation. I just wish it got the full treatment. It looks really nice, but I do quite like it. Same goes for Dream Grove Lunara Bundle. Again, thousand runestones, 1250 Canadian, $10 USD, uh, emotes, animations, and all that look like this. Lunara versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Ishnu Allah, Ark Druid. Blessed dreams upon you. I shan't forget that. That did not go unnoticed. A true wonder of the wield. That was curious. You cannot escape corruption. I can't win them all.
again, love the look of it, like the whole like constellation. It almost looks like a constellation and all of that. Really cool stuff. I just wish it got the full treatment. It wouldn't be cool if we could like combine different aspects of portraits together, like add the entrance animation from another portrait to this one or the hero power thing. That'd be really rad, but maybe at another time. But overall, it's still a really nice one. Just wish it got the full treatment. And there you go. If you're interested in those, that's what they look like. And we'll hit you up tomorrow with another video. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.